Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on abstract classes in C Sharp. So, um, the biggest problem that people have with abstract classes is when starting out they believe that an abstract class for some reason has um, all this extra functionality or that it can do um, something interesting that other classes can't. Um, and the reality is it really um, it really doesn't have anything too special with it. It doesn't have any um, crazy functionality. It is mainly an organizational tool. So it helps us essentially organize our code better. So an abstract class, let's, uh, let's take a look at just a regular class. So let's name this class animal. Okay. And in this class, we could have maybe a function and we can call it get name. All right. And it returns, um, let's see, it returns a string. So in here, we'll actually create a parameter call it for type. And, and we can just say something like, um, is a all right that'll work um, of course we can concatenate the string but we'll leave it as as it is anyways um, so this is basic implementation of just a regular class that we would have right we have our class we have our regular function no worries um, what if we wanted to make this function um, completely different based on the type of animal it is. Um, for instance, let's say we wanted to name types of horses uh, differently and we wanted that logic different than we would name uh, different types of birds. So the way we would do this um, is we can make an abstract class okay so as you see we still have uh, we still have access to regular functions we can still make these functions non-abstract and they're fine however if we wanted to now we can make a abstract function and call it get name and Oops. Okay. All right. So we'll comment that out. So there we have an abstract function for get name. But as you see, the only reason we had an error right here is because it was also called get name. So we can actually uncomment this and say make sound. Oops. Sound. Um, and we can just say something, I don't know, something really not smart and say moo, I'm a type. Okay, so this is a very odd function, but this proves our point, or this, uh, this helps illustrate my point a little better. So here we have an abstract function inside of our abstract class, and we have a, a regular function as well. So how would we um, work with an abstract class? Well, we can't inherit from it. So, but we're going to get an error. And this error says program does not implement inherited abstract member animal dot get name. Okay, so what we can do is um, implement abstract class. As we do that, we make an override. We are essentially overriding this method. So now this is essentially a contract saying, hey, if you're going to implement animal into your class or you're going to inherit from animal, then you need to have this method. I don't care how you use it, do whatever you want with it, but you need to have this method with these parameters. So it's essentially what's happening here. We can literally do whatever we want in here. Um, 
as just as long as we have actually implemented this member. So then we can say something like um, console dot right line. Oh wait a minute. Of course it's a string. So we could just say return um, hey you implemented this function. Okay. Wait a minute. That's awful. We should just say um, return type plus um, awesome sounding name. Okay. So now we have essentially taken get name and we've done whatever we wanted from it. Or we've done whatever we wanted with it. We can add whatever we want inside of this function, get all sorts of crazy, but this is essentially a contract saying, hey, if you're going to implement animal, you need to implement also the abstract members as well. So, but what about this function? How do we implement it? Well, let's try and making a, let's try to make a regular object. So equals new animal. All right, and we get an error. It says, cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface. So you can't actually create your own instance. So how do we work around this? Well, if we want to implement it, we can just make our own object of the class that we're in. Oops. So program equals new program. Okay, and now we can say program dot make sound. There we go. Up, oh, and it says we have an uh, there's no argument given that corresponds with. Of course, we need to add this parameter. So we can say force. Okay. All right, so there you go. So that is how you essentially um, tap into a method that isn't abstract inside of an abstract class, how you use an abstract method, and how to actually work with abstract classes. So in the next video, we'll go over interfaces, which is something very, very similar to an abstract class. Um, so stick around, and I hope to see you in that one.